Right, so I can, I can already try and explain, start explaining the project um, when we set up. Uh, so so the, the idea here is that we wanted to um, try and incentivize academia as a whole to improve their uh, codes, uh, their, their, the peer review process of papers that use codes. So often if you're like in a discipline, uh, if you're an editor in a discipline like biology, and you have some uh, paper to review and the authors have written some Python code, you have no idea, and they, they may even cite it and stuff like that, but you have no idea that they should cite this code, you have no idea of the quality of the code, and you may not know any good peer reviewers for this paper that have the right um, code literacy to tell you whether this paper is good or bad. Um, and, and so what we, we try to do essentially is to get um, some, some kind of uh, platform where you, as a code literate peer reviewer, can sign up and say, hey, I'm good at Python and I'm good at, I work in biology. And so then that editor will find you on this database and will possibly suggest you as a reviewer for a paper. And so that, I think, uh, as we want to make a, a very simple um, tool that could do this. And Sora will continue. Okay. So I'm going to talk you through the use case that you are a uh, journal editor and you're looking for code literate um, peer reviewers um, and you can go onto the code literate peer review website and do a search, um, there's a few options you can select, so you can select multiple subject areas, um, the, the full data set's not there yet, but you know, get the idea. Um, principal languages and submit, and you should get a list of results um, with an option to contact that person. And the contact would probably happen kind of under the bonnet, so it would be the system would send an email to the, to the appropriate person. Um, and I'm going to let Diego talk you through the use case that you are. Uh, in the first iteration of the process, uh, users can have to actually <laughs> actively register a volunteer to be a part of this. So they need to register their interest, and here they need to add well, the name, surname, email. Uh, these things will be uh, at the email in principle will be something hidden to the user, to the the other part. Um, and then optionally at the org, org ID, uh, get username uh, to get more information so in the future we can have a more, uh, well, can, we can try to scrap the, those web pages and get more information about these users to provide a more efficient uh, matching process between the, the client and the, and, the, and the provider. And then uh, we select here which disciplines we uh, want to be involved, what we know. Uh, as, well, as well as the languages, and also we need to uh, agree with the terms and conditions. I don't think we have actually yet terms and conditions, but there will be <laughs> terms and conditions because the, since the people is providing their own data and information, even though some of it is public, there should be some terms and conditions and uh, a private uh, policy in place, in place. So we agree, we submit, and then we will uh, be available in the database uh, the program. I'm just going to talk you a little bit through the history of this project. So um, I shall switch, switch to our Slack channel. What we've tried to do um, is we've tried to put into practice many of the good um, pieces of advice that have been shared with us over the course of the past few days. So we have uh, tried to develop this as a sort of MVP. It's a, a light, it, we've developed it in Flask. We've tried to sort of take an incremental approach to development. We've tried to think carefully about the documentation, the citability, and all those. Yeah, so a few little snaps of us doing um, our very important work. And this is our Git repository that we have <laughs> thought about uh, reproducibility. It's running um, on a Docker container, so all three of us have been able to run the app and you will too, should you want to. And uh, I'll let Diego just talk you through the documentation, because we were trying very hard to do that right. Yeah, well, the, 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 in the project we have tried to implement a proper documentation system. Uh, it's written in, it's using strings, 
and uh, it's, uh, this is done to uh, read the docs so we can go there and have the documentation being shown eventually if it's there. And here we left you without. <laughs> 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 <laughs>